Jo Groves thought lifting her South Lismore home with the support of a state government grant would prevent a repeat of the inundation she experienced in the 2017 floods. And we raised it to the maximum height that Lismore City Council would let us raise it to. You can see by the colour of the ground where the water's come to it. But it didn't work. And like so many others, she's having trouble navigating the help available to her now. I was given $1,000 into my account. I was expecting three. I thought, oh, where's the other two? You know, there's no info. I can't find any, any information about when the other money is coming. The water went over the roof of Christopher Regan's house and engineers have told him it's too dangerous to work in. They don't want anyone in the house because if a big wind comes it could just slide off any time. The first of 120 motorhomes headed to the region left Sydney today. These homes are going to help to provide temporary accommodations to get people out of the evacuation centres and give them some stability over the coming weeks and months. Yeah, you know, I've got a family of five, my neighbour's got a family of six. Opposition leader Anthony Albanese was warmly received on the streets of Lismore today. Oh, my favourite man! How are you? <laughs> some here are still frustrated they didn't get the same opportunity with the Prime Minister this week. He didn't have the guts and tenacity to front the people in a community which has been really devastated. Mr Albanese also visited Mwoolumba, a region yet to become eligible for Commonwealth disaster payments. How could you go through this street and say, well, they don't deserve the same support that other communities are getting? The impact of this disaster has been felt across the other side of the world. The Prince of Wales has sent a message of support praising the resilience, compassion and courage of those affected. Can you do a high five? The Governor-General and his wife have been touring the worst affected areas. The region has the eyes and ears of the nation. People here just hope it will make a difference. Miranda Saunders, ABC News, Lismore.